Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Anyway, anyway, so we're back with a Blu-ray haul video for you guys, and we're gonna make this video yesterday. We just never did, uh, but we did end up going to um, Dollar Tree and um, Best Buy. So uh, I'm gonna show you what we picked up, or he picked up at Best Buy first, and then I'll show the Dollar Tree, okay? Because we got a lot to show you guys. So big old stacks here. So all right, so the first one up. Um, this was, like I said, at Best Buy. This was actually originally $34.99. Had it marked all the way down to $19.99. And this is the 4K edition of the Peanuts Holiday Collection. This is the Deluxe Edition. So you get a, um, a pumpkin Charlie Brown, a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, and a Charlie Brown Christmas. Um, these are just absolute classic. I think everyone should own these. Or at least watch these movies at least one time. But we've already watched the Christmas one. Um, I love it. It's just not long enough for me. But um, these are just absolute classic movies. But um, it's like one of those little slip boxes, guys. But um, yeah, so happy he picked this one up um, for the for our collection or his collection. But um, for the holiday collection, so so excited. Yes. So you can also get the you can also get the Blu-ray one for seventeen ninety nine. But for two more dollars extra, you can upgrade it to four K. So all right. So what? Anyway, I just ordered it. I just ordered it. Order Save what? This one. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. All right. So. We made, a, we made a video a couple of days, a couple of days guys, or a couple of days ago, and um, we didn't really go into detail of this movie because I've never seen it. So we watched it the other night um, for the first time for myself, but he's seen it before, but it's been a long time. And that is um, a werewolf movie called Bad Moon uh, from Shout Factory or Screen Factory. But um, you get Michael Parr in here and um, Mara Hemingway and Mason Gamble from Dennis and Menace. But um. Oh, and you forgot the German Shepherd. Oh, poor Thor. Can't forget Thor. Thor. Um, he was the highlight of the movie, in my opinion. Just absolutely loved him. Um, but I've always had this, you know, gripe with dogs in movies because I'm like, oh my God, what's going to happen to him? Is something going to happen to him? Luckily, should I say it in the video? Say what? Nothing happened to him. No. I shouldn't say that? Okay, well, anyway, but Thor was the highlight of this film. But um, the special effects of this film was like the best. In my opinion, um, but yeah, if if you're comparing, you know, when we talk about werewolf movies, um, the one thing the one thing that I noticed in this movie is the werewolf I thought looked a lot better than the one in American in American yes. Werewolf in London. And the one thing I've always noticed about that movie, the one thing I, if I had a gripe, it'd probably be because of the way the werewolf looked. Because I didn't the like ending. the way it looked. Yeah, exactly. I thought it looked kind of. It didn't. He look like a werewolf. I don't know what's the word <laughs> I'm know. looking for. It looked. Um, it looked kind of. Kind of, cheesy, yeah. Did, weird. It didn't. It didn't look right. Yeah, it didn't look right to me. It, it needed to look more, what more aggressive. Yeah, but this more, one did look like a werewolf. Well, so, whatever. Um, but not aggressive. That's not the right word, is it? That's what he looks like there, guys. But um, yeah. Well, you're not even listening to me, so I'm, I'm just sort of here at my computer and no, just no, keep quiet. The the movie the movie's really good. Um, I don't think Kimberly liked it as much as I did. I gave it, I probably gave it about three stars or maybe a little more. I gave it two and a half. I liked it. Uh, the one thing, the one thing, it, it, it is slow. Yeah. There isn't really much dialogue. There aren't a lot of actors in it as well, which is surprising. Right. I somewhat remembered a movie from, uh, from back then, but, uh, so anyway, it's, it's, it's a really simple movie. He gets attacked. Uh, he's a photojournalist. He gets attacked by attempting to defend uh, or protect his uh, mistress. Um, from there, we um, we find out later in the movie that uh, he's apparently uh, some years had elapsed, and what he's attempting to do is maybe find a cure or reverse because of what had happened to right. him. And of course, you'll find that out later in the movie. And then, of course, from there, it transpires. It actually goes into uh, he's living with his. Um, with his sister, or he's living on the prop her property yeah. in a streamline, I think that's what Airstream. they call it, or Airstream trailer. And uh, that's where the movie really kind of takes off and it gets kind of interesting. It, it, yeah. is, it is somewhat slow. It is pretty good. Uh, I think it holds up. Um, I still, when when it comes to vamp or werewolf movies, and I was talking to Kimberly a few days ago about this, the one that I really liked, and a lot of people probably have an issue with this, is I like the original, the one with Me Lon too. Chaney. Uh, the werewolf man. The wolf man. Um, well, the, I call him Same werewolf thing. man. The wolf man. Same thing. But the thing is that uh, 
just the way, you know, because it's black and white, the way it's shot. I think one of the best scenes in the movie is probably the scene where he's talking to the gypsy woman. Right. And, you know, you have that fog and this, yeah, it's just that creepy. scene itself is very yeah. creepy. And I thought that was pretty cool. But I love it. So I, I really like that one. Of course, I still like it in, in American Werewolf in London. I think that holds up. I like the howling. And uh, just recently, probably in the last few minutes, I ordered, uh, I talked about this before, I ordered one by the name of Wolf. It has Jack, uh, that I mentioned, Nichols, Nicholson. It has um, it has Michelle Pfeiffer, and of course it also has Richard, oh shit, I'm sorry, Christopher Plummer, who plays uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer's father in it. It also has James Spader in it as well. Yeah, I've so never seen that. It's a, it's, a, it's a very good movie, so I, I went and ordered it, like I said, yeah. just a few minutes ago, and I wanted to have that in my collection. And I think other than that, I really don't know that many more of the werewolf movies that are probably... I think there's probably a few more out yeah. there. I've never I seen know. a lot. I think of those stuff. are the main ones. I think if you have, I think if you have probably uh, the how you know the howling. I'd like to. I don't want to continue this much longer, but the howling. I'd like to have some of the other ones as well, just yeah. to see how they hold up. So I think they made like what, like four or five of those. I think they made howling more than movies that. or something or like that. Thing, but they made more than yeah, that. Yeah, but believe. anyway, so he did get. So. Um, he got a movie in the mail today, guys, and um, it's a, a sci-fi double feature. <laughs> Um, the H Man and Battle into Our Outer Space from Mill Creek. Um, what year is this from? Nineteen sixty and um, eighty eight. So um, yeah, there's the front there. Mm -hmm. There's the back. Never heard of this one, but uh, I'm sure this first one's dubbed. I'm sure they both are, but um, I'm not exactly sure. So um, mm -hmm. oh, one fifty eight and one sixty. Okay, but um, yeah. So there's that, guys. Yeah, and it's a well-known director, and I can't remember his name. I'd have to go back and look. It's um. E.J. Who? Oh, that's not the same guy. Mm. Never mind. I'm not even. <laughs> oh, not Shiro Honda. Ishiro. Ishiro Honda. Honda, yeah, yeah as a director. Yeah. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. It's got a little hyphen. Right. Do the thing. Mm. Anyway, so those are all of his um, recent pickups, guys. Let's go ahead and show you the Dollar Tree ones, okay? Yeah, but you know this this is actually this is actually a contradiction from what I said before about subtitles. I know. So I know. I I probably won't even watch this or read the subtitles. I'll probably just watch the movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, it looked cool. Yeah. I just wanted it for my collection. We should so. watch the inner battle battle of inner space. Outer yeah, space. and and one more to mention, one more thing to mention about this is I'm trying to get into more of the sci-fi movies yeah. too. You know, some of the some of the fifties because you know, sci-fi sci-fi basically was the fifties. You know, that was that was the decade of, of sci-fi. So primarily. Oh, that's your computer. That's my computer. That? Yeah, but yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is. This will be uh it'll be interesting to yeah. watch. I thought like it was raining at first. Jeez. All right, let's cold. go ahead and show you the um. We'll show you the DVDs first, guys, and then the Blu-rays, okay? All right, so almost every single one of these, I think all of them are a horror DVDs. So, um, the first one up is. What's the name of that other movie that I said I was going to order? I don't know. We we are we got into a. Oh, the fog. The, the fog. fog. Yes. Yeah, I need to order that one as well. All right, so the first one up is a movie called Frankenstein. Hey, this is cool. I'm actually ordering while you you're are. making you a are. video, so that's pretty cool. But so. um, we're definitely going to have to watch some of these, um, like around like you know the month of October or something, or just throughout the day, throughout the day, throughout the year. So there's that one. Do we will. Know? Yeah. Okay. Next one up, guys, is a movie called um, Jack Goes Home. I love the art of this one. I saw this one. This one looked pretty cool. So there's a, that one. Okay. Next one up is a movie called Scare B N B. I'm not sure what this one is, but uh, this one actually comes with a digital copy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Wait a second. What you looking at? I thought I already. It's not had the it. same one. It's not. That's not 4K though. The other one's 4K. And this from the Australia, or from Australia or something. Wait, I don't need it in 4K. Well, that's what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so the next one up. This I thought one it was the really mist. Cool. No. I think it's the mist. All right, well. I think I was right the first time, no, folks. No, you clicked. She always correct. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a second. She always <laughs> corrects me. But 90, what, 99.99% of the times you're incorrect. Well, type it in and I'll show you if you're right. or tell you if you're right or not. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, next one up, guys. I think something a little bit different. Why not? It's called Blackwood. This one looks really cool, guys. I love the art of this one. 
The blue or four? Four. Is it available in four? I don't know. You have to try it. All right, so next one, this one looks cool too. What do we call it? Iron Wolf? You might be right. I don't know. You might be. Mm -hmm. but I don't know if you are though. I think what you're talking about is the the white the, the one with the white yeah. thing cover. Yeah. That's the mist. I don't so think you... you're right. I don't think you're right. But anyway, we'll just we'll let him look and we'll talk, okay? Next one up is called Ouija Summoning. Is that it? No, it's not the same one. It is the same one. That one the one I've showed you has it's English on the front. That's not four K either, that's blue. Baby, I don't think there's a four K available. <sighs> I'll show them in a minute, guys. All right, so next up is called um, Exeter. This one looks pretty cool. If you do the fog 4K, it might pull it up. You just got to scroll down further, I guess. Our next one up, guys, is called Lake Fear 3. You crack me up. Yeah, I know. I do that a lot, don't I? <laughs> All right. This one looks really cool, guys. I'm so happy he picked this one up. Um, it's from the director of Saw 2, 3, and 4. Um, that is called Avatar. Look at that cover of that, guys. It's pretty cool. It almost kind of reminds me of like a cabin fever, <laughs> the way the, the cover is. But uh, that movie creeped me out the first time I watched that film. So, um, that's yeah. that, the scene where she's shaving her legs and her skin comes off. That gets me every time I see that scene. But, uh, ugh, it's crazy. Hey. Here's yeah. something really interesting. You got to see this. Look at look what's coming it's out. It's right there. See? No, but look at look at the top one. Here from New York, they live the Five Prince of Darkness 4K collection. That's neat. Yeah, you see? can get. There it is, right there. No, I see it. I didn't see that before. <laughs> is that the one you were talking about? Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Yeah, the Five 4K. Yeah, but it's not going to be released here in the states, is it? I know. So probably not. I guess. Looks like a UK. Yeah. Yeah, we're actually looking at some of these movies on the yep. computer. So. All right. Trying to make something a little more interesting that's never in. our videos aren't very interesting, are they? Break that All right, so or... next one up, this one looks pretty cool, guys. It's called Zombie Masker 2, Reich of the Dead. Look at the cover of that. You don't stop what you're doing. Kind of looks like me. It does not. Yeah, in the mornings. They're hungry for war. Well, you know, in the mornings when I wake up, I have to apply <laughs> lotion, you know, because if not, I'm dried out like that. Oh, my yeah. God, you are not. Almost looks like he's part tree. Because <laughs> he has got his head cut off. It's all bark. Yeah. Our next one up is called Dead Don't Die in Dallas. This one looks pretty. It's like a zombie flick. But, um, yeah. Can you see that, guys? Okay. All right. So, we got a few more DVDs and the rest of them are Blu-rays for him, okay? Wait a second. Yeah. You know, you can order this. You can order that now. Oh, that's neat. You can order it if I ordered it. Did you order that other one? Which one? Evangelist. Evangelist or something. Oh, vigilante. Good lord, I can't no. talk right now. But but real quick, guys, there's uh, I'm on Amazon, and you can you can buy the um, the Escape from New York. They live the fog, the Prince of Darkness, and they're of course they're all by John. But it's Parker. Region B, so remember they're that. 4K, yeah, they're 4K, so you have to make sure that you have a region free. 4K blue. player. No. Oh, that is blue. blue that's a remaster. Blue. Remember, because we it is we put 4K that were yeah for another region right, and it plays in the yeah. All right. In the blue, right? Yes. All right, so cool. next one up, guys, a movie called Six Ways to Die. It says uh, Vivica Fox and Tom Sizemore. A nice and boss awesome cover. Um, definitely want to watch this. I love Tom Sizemore, so definitely got to watch that one. ASAP. So you want to you show this one? No, they know that it's a Fog 4K. So, yeah. okay. But it's region free, so, is what it says. Okay, so what we're doing, once again, is we're getting into the, where I'm contradicting myself. Because if I purchase that, wasn't that supposed to be purchased for my birthday? It's supposed to. It's supposed to. So you hear that, folks. <laughs> so if I don't get it, well, my birthday's passed. So, <laughs> um, it could be know. a Christmas gift, or just Wait a, a or just a gift. Rise after, or it rise after, after Christmas. Christmas. So. so January second to January twenty second. So all right. So this one, I'm so happy it was there. It's pretty cool. This is like the horror ele or horror version of the Expendables, and that's called. Death House with mm. Kane Hodder, um, D Will Mosley, D Wallace, and Sid Haig. And of course, it has other ones in there as well. But um, this was really cool. Oh, it says down there at the bottom, dubbed by fans as being the expendables of, expendables of horror. So, yeah, I love Kane Hodder. So, there's that one. 
and said, hey, rest in peace. Hmm. Just... You know what the name of the studio is? And no. They did this in port. Oh. oh, God. Okay, they went on a limb on that one. Isn't that kind of... That's crazy. That's kind of redundant, isn't it? it? Is. No, that wouldn't be redundant. Would All right, so this one, I had no idea he picked that it up. That would be a rock and a hard place. Yes. I'm so yeah. happy he picked this because that's the voice of Jeff Foxworthy and Rob Schreider, and it's called um, Ozzy the Fast and the Furious. Furious, I'm sorry, but uh, I love animation, so that's probably the reason he picked it up, I guess. So, yeah, there's that one, guys. Okay, so the rest of would you stop that? Couldn't lend on me. Okay, so the final ones of his guys are all Blu rays. Okay, so the first one up, this one has an awesome slip on it. Oh, got a sticker on it. And it's called Blood Money. No, let me let me let me let me show you something that they do, which I don't like. You see this right back here where it's open, it's I know. actually open. They put a they put sticker. a bar like it's like a barcode sticker exactly. back here, and when you're attempting to take you because I I keep forgetting about this what you have to do is you have to remove the sticker before you can take the blue exactly I don't get it, it. Out, I hate when not, they do that it stays stuck to yeah. that so word word of wisdom there or <laughs> words it's not a word it's sticky I know it's sticky it's adhesive right, how so do you remove that hey you know what. What? <laughs> I was just thinking something. Do you think acetone would remove that? I don't know. You want to mess you up You think paper. acetone would damage it? I guess so. See, this is you all good. You can do goo, goo gone. They got that goo gone stuff that gets it off. It's what? It's called goo gone. Gooby gone or Sounds something. Sounds like something that comes out of you. <laughs> okay, so next Goo gone? Time, it's called goo, goo, gooey gone or something. It gets the stickiness off or something. Is it, it, is it a liquid? Or yeah, is it, I guess. Or is it like tried a... tried it, so I wouldn't know. Okay, so next So why mention it? Because it gets off the sticky stuff. Okay, so next one we call High Voltage. I with some um, WD, some petroleum. Taylor Arquette and Luke Wilson. This one looks pretty interesting. Yeah, if you're ever getting gum, WD's one of the better yes, things that to Yes, that, you know. that is true. See, we're actually doing something. That is so true. Hey, I don't want to advertise for WD. Anyway, so WD next up, guys, 40. is what we, call, what we call Mandrill. Never heard of it, but um, it was a dollar, so I can't beat it. If it's bad, it's a dollar or so, right? No, I think what looks cool is the artwork. Yeah, on it. that is cool. I like the artwork. And and we we'll, we will definitely watch these. In fact, in, after Christmas, we'll probably start where yep. we do it once a night. We're supposed to watch that. Um, The other night, we were supposed to, well, last night, we were supposed to watch that Battle Battlefield Earth. Oh, God, I forgot John about Travolta. that With John we are supposed to watch we'll that We'll watch one. that one next Thursday night. Next Thursday yeah, night? Yeah, we'll watch it. So, All right, next one up, guys, it's called D13 slash U. Not sure what this is about, mm. but... Have to give it a shot. All right, so this one, this one he actually has it on DVD, but it only had one copy left on Blu-ray, so he picked it up. And we call it the Signal. I think I hear something. What? I think it's a signal. Oh my gosh! All right, so the final one of his guys before we get to mine, we called um, Age of Heroes. Don't you like my humor? Yes, I do. You're awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. All right, guys, those are all of his movies. Let's go ahead and move on to mine, okay? Oh, um, oh I'll wait until you get through because I got I to I gotta talk about our experience today that we oh, have. Oh, jeez. It's short. Okay, so, all right, so we'll go ahead and show you the DVDs first, guys. And the hey, movies, do you think okay? anybody ever believes? Yes. You think they do? Yes. Okay, this one has an awesome slip on it, guys. It's a movie called Brave Town. It's got um, Josh Duhamel and um, Lauren, Laura Dern in it. Um, anything about our military, I absolutely love. So, um, this one looks really, really interesting. That's the reason I got it. So, um, yeah, if you want to read the back here. But I love Josh Duhamel. It just, I think he's awesome. So, I had to pick that one up for the collection. Okay. All right. So, next one up has got Taylor Lautner in it from the Twilight, um, Twilight movies. Which I love him. It was called Run the Tide. This one looks right up my alley, guys. Love these kind of movies like this. Okay, so next one up is um, so happy these were there. If they're not good, I probably will upgrade to Blu-ray. This one we gotta pick up on DVD to see if I like them or not. This is two of those um, DC animated movies. First one up was Batman: The Killing Joke, and then De The Deaths of Superman. Um, I have one of the DC movies on Blu-ray, but I um, definitely want to start getting some of these if I like them. But um, I love anything DC, so I just had to pick these up. Um, yeah, these look really, really good. Okay. Next one up is called a movie called The Hip Paper Boy. All right, so the final DVD, and I got two um, two Blu-rays to show you guys. A movie called The Meddler with uh, J.K. Simmons and Rose Byrne. 
So I just had to pick that one up. I love J.K. Simmons. Especially after I watched Whip Whiplash for the first time. Oh, such a f phenomenal movie, guys. Love, love, loved it. All right, so the final two, guys. This first one up, um, this is almost like a, kind of like a spinoff, I guess, or like a ripoff. Two Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is called Adventures at, ch at the, ch uh, <laughs> Adventures at the Chocolate Factory. Give it, I'll give it a shot and see how good it is, but I absolutely love the original. The Johnny Depp was pretty good, too, but I just absolutely love the original one, but, um, yeah, so there's that one, guys. All right, so the final one is called Looking for Lennon. What are you going to say now? I'm finished. Mm -hmm. You're going to say something. I'm not sure exactly what you're going to oh, say. Oh, yeah. I was going to I was gonna talk about we had to, me and Kimberly decided to get out today. We were looking for a lawnmower, a push lawnmower. Um, the one that we have, usually a lawnmower, push lawnmower lasts probably about eight to ten years. Yeah. Something like that. I had a riding lawnmower last 14 years, and I sold it. And the person I sold it to, I saw them some years after that, and they still had it. It was still running, so that's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Not anybody cares about lawnmowers, but so anyway, we decided we we decided to go out. We had, we had already uh, we already went out about I think it was about a week ago, and we saw this lawnmower at Lowe's, the push lawnmower Crafts, Craftsman. It's uh, like a seven point two five. Was it like 163 cc yep. something like that? It was self propelled, whatever. It's got all the little frills, and they're they're fairly decent lawnmowers. I also have a cordless lawnmower as well, you know, which is, it it's 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 pretty okay. It's it's not as good as a uh, as a push lawnmower because it doesn't have the power of the push lawnmower. But of course, yeah. then again, you get a higher voltage, maybe maybe it's equivalent. I don't know. So anyway. So we decided to get, like I said, we decided to get out today and uh, purchase this lawnmower. And uh, so when we got to Lowe's, they only had one. Um, did they have one? They didn't have one on display, did nope. they? They didn't have one on display. Oh, yeah, they had one on display. They, they didn't have one on display, yeah. yeah. So anyway, they had, they had one box. And so we uh, so we brought it home. I took it out of the box. And it didn't have the oil. Because it comes with an oil and it comes right. with a manual. And then it looks... The cables that they, you have, what they call the drive cable, or the speed zone cable, and you also have one that's or for the self-propelled, and you also have one for the, uh, it's called the brake, whatever cable. You know, if you let your hand, everybody knows if you let your hand off the brake, what it does, it cuts the engine off. It's like a kill switch. Yeah. Um. So, and it had, looked to be like it had uh, zip ties around it, which it should have had a, a plastic housing with the cables running through, whatever. So anyway, I didn't have that either. So me and Kimberly, I told Kimberly, I said, here was what we'll do. We'll go on and load the lawnmower back. We'll take it back to Lowe's. And initially I was going to, and it's, it's a good thing I did this because initially what I was going to do was I was just going to take the receipt and go to Lowe's with that and ask for the, uh, for the oil and for the, uh, for the manual to it. And I would probably would have been fine with that, even though I was a little skeptical about the lawnmower and talking about that, uh, that piece on the handle that holds the uh, the cables in. So anyway, I told Kim and I said, let's just go and load it back. We decided we're going to take it back. Well, come to find out when I got up to the uh, to the uh, to the customer return, it was a display, and apparently, when they took it out of the box, I'm not sure what happened to the oil, and I'm not sure what happened to the manual, but. Uh, the lawnmower really should have never been put in a box and right. put back on the shelf to be sold because it was basically incomplete. But I just can't believe how, I, to me, it's um, a poor management or here works that department. Uh, they're not doing their job. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's not a big deal, but the point is it, I wasted a trip. And usually I'll, it, the, the, point, the, the point of this is it's gotten so bad today that what you have to do is you basically have to check everything. I mean, if you're yeah. going through a drive through, uh, I don't know if any time because it's very seldom we ever go through any drive throughs and we do the uh, what do you call it? The fast food, whatever. But when we do, um, it's to the point now where you have to check everything. You have to make sure that what you ordered is actually right, you know, in the in the bags. And, uh, but anyway, like I said, it's, it was kind of, I think it was kind of my fault in a way, because usually I'm one to always, I, I try to be thorough and look 
And uh, for some reason or another, I guess we were kind of, I guess we were kind of in a hurry today. So, but uh, it just kind of ticked me off the fact that we had to waste a trip. And I didn't get an apology from him. Um, in fact, the, the, the man that I spoke to, I don't know, I, I assume, I don't know if he was a manager, assistant manager, yeah. or if he's over the department. Uh, he didn't even apologize for it. He actually thought it was kind of funny because he said, you know, I basically said, you know, you need oil or some BS like that. But uh, that's pretty crazy today. It's pretty crazy out there. Yeah, it is. Guys. So it's it's like, you know, it's like it seems to be every time we go out, we always seem to find we have a we have a negative or bad <laughs> experience. Happens. We don't look for it. It's it not happens. like we look for it and we don't do this to try to, you know, use it for the video. It's just, it's just kind of weird, but, um, yep. yeah. So anyway, I, I just don't understand why somebody decided to put that back because basically the lawnmower was incomplete. So right. that's, that's the point to it. But, uh, we, I, we wasted a trip. <laughs> so we got out of there in that traffic and man, oh man, crazy, that, that traffic's pretty wild. Yeah. People are yep. crazy today. They are. You have, you have, um, some, some intersections that you come up to and there's clearly a sign stated. Do not block. At the top of the light, it says, do not block the intersection, and, and you'll have two or three vehicles that will come through it, and they're on their cell phones, and they're not even giving any consideration to the traffic that has to go through, so that's kind of kind of where we're at today, I guess. Yep, it? it is. So it's it's crazy, just something, something a little bit different to talk about, but... Um, Anyway, that was kind of boring. Um, I ordered, like I said, I ordered the Wolf. I just ordered that. That's going to be coming probably next week. That's a good one. If you get, if you guys ever get a chance, if you like Spader, if you like uh, Christopher, uh, Christopher Plummer, if you like Michelle Pfeiffer, or you like Jack, which I'm sure most people do, it's a good movie. It's a movie worth checking out. You need to check it out. Yeah. Another one that I ordered that most of you people probably never even heard of. I'll probably catch a lot of people off guard with these movies. Uh, it's called Electra Glide. It's got uh, Robert Blake, and a lot of people probably don't know who Robert Blake uh, is. I'm not sure. Is he still alive? I don't know. Oh, I think, I I think he is. I don't know who it is. Uh, he, came, he was popular back in the 70s. He used to do a show by the name of Beretta. It was oh, a, okay. It was, a, it was a detective. Yeah, I didn't know. It was a detective police. Or police. It was police, I think, show. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty popular back then, but... Uh, it's a very good movie. I wasn't even aware of it. I think Shout is the Shout that does that. Yeah, Shout yeah. that did that. So, uh, yeah. So I ordered that and okay. uh, trying to figure out. It, I'm trying to figure out. Is there anything else? Oh, there's one more thing, real quick, before we get off. Um, you know, we were talking about. I think it was the movie Dead Alive that we were talking about. Not Dead Alive. What did I say? That Deadly Games. Oh yeah. You need to correct me. Deadly Games, and we never did go into detail about that movie. And uh, I think it's something that I wanted to say that I didn't say is um, the movie is like we already discussed. It's it's Home Alone. It would be it would be the reverse because right. Home Alone would be the opposite of Deadly Games. And Deadly Games basically focuses on a uh, a Santa Claus who happens to be a maniac, and it also focuses on a ten year old boy who. He gets put in this situation of actually having to protect not only himself, being ten years old, but he also has to protect his, uh, his grandfather, who uh, who has, uh, who's basically blind, but yeah. he has to take yeah. insulin. And so it's one of those. It, it you know it, it's 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 similar in some ways, but in some ways it isn't. Right. You can understand where John Hughes could maybe got, got some idea of the from, ideas yeah. from Deadly Games, but uh, it's. Uh, like I said, we didn't go into detail about it, but it's really interesting. And I think, I think what makes the movie unique uh, is the fact, they, first of all, it's a 10-year-old boy and what that 10-year-old boy is put through. Right. And I don't know if, I don't know if a, a movie like that with a 10-year-old would actually, if you could make anything like that today. Because uh, it's never been made in the U.S. That was only in France. No, and that was incorrect. It, it has never been released in the United States. So that makes it unique as well, too, because it's something that, you know, once again, you have to you have to yeah. purchase from abroad or uh, in a sense, I guess. Right. But uh, yeah. So anyway, that that's what it's like. And of course, the boy's a genius. Um, and of course, like, you know, Kevin did in Home Alone, he has uh, he has a, the, the mind to be able to create these um where Kevin was more of, how would you explain his his gadgets? It was more to de de like a deterrent. Right. Where in this one, he actually wants to harm the yes. um, the Santa Claus. Who, who, like I said, right, because the Santa Claus wants to harm him. And so. and like I said before, 
he's kind of a really weird guy. I mean, he's, he's kind of really hard to figure out because in one way, we see signs throughout the movie and later in the movie that he actually has compassion yeah. for what he's attempting to do. So he, he actually is an opposite. And that makes it kind of uh, interesting. But I guess in the fact, and I guess because he is deranged, I guess that's the way you have to yeah. you have to perceive that or look at that. So, but anyway, it's a very like I said once again, it's a very good movie. And the one other movie, real quick, that that we probably didn't go into. I think we went into it was the uh, the, the the Krampus, the Krampus, and something that I failed to say, and I think Emily agrees with that. And of course, I had mentioned about our culture because I already said that about the beginning. And what I failed to mention, I should have mentioned, was the ending. And I think that also ties into it. Also ties into the very beginning of the movie, as as if it's a metaphor, like I said, which is very possible about where our culture is today, and then where we could end up you know, because of the way the movie ended. So yeah. kind of kind of like that. So basically, the movie could be a metaphor, like yeah. I said before. Or it could actually, the intent was to maybe just show us how we are in society, I guess. We are like that today. Yeah, we really gotten bad. And it goes back to saying, and I didn't explain myself well either about going You're out. You're good. You're taking No, time. I'm talking about how I grew up, like I said, primarily in the 80s and 90s. And uh, I was, I guess, at the right age of being 20 in the 80s. So, uh, like I said, once again, it's just seemed people had more had more of a respect and a, and a compassion for, for other people. And apparently we just yeah kind of gotten away from that in a way, I guess, but yeah. I'll be the last one to preach about that. So, <laughs> so in a way that's, that's, yep. that's all I wanted to say. And, and, you know, and I try to get better and explain some of these movies. Maybe that'll spark an interest. So you're, you're, you do a good job of doing that. So yeah, I like um, to think so. But like anyway, so. guys, no, those, actually I don't. Yes, you do. Because what, what happens and, and the one thing we mentioned before is, um, some people really have a knack for doing this and they can just, they can just Flows use right stuff out, out. I find myself that it's like, it's like, you know how, when you get upset or something, your brain, you know, you, yeah. you, you get into that, that, that rage or whatever. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, well, I got mad, but well, did I say everything I actually wanted right, to say? You exactly. know, and then you find yourself say, well, why did I say that? Or why didn't I say that? Yeah. It's kind of the way it is when you make these. So. So but, um, we'll, we'll try to get we'll try to get better at it. I mean, so is there anything else? I think we got it all. Ooh. It's a little nippy. Wait a minute. Anyway, guys. Wait a minute. There's some trimmers. Oh, trimmers on 4K once again. I think I want to say that's, I think it's either push, did, was it pushed back further? Yeah. I or don't was know it forward? So I'm not sure what's going to happen with doing, trimmers so. 4K. So oh, it's no big deal. It'll it's a it's a it very Tremors is a very good movie. It's a fun movie. It's of course it's got Fred Ward. Yes. It's got Kevin Bacon. Excuse me. It's a fun movie. It's a fun ride. You don't take it serious, but it's just a good movie. Yeah. And of course it's got Michael Gross. And like Reba I mentioned, McIntyre. it's got Reba McIntyre. Oh Lord. Funny, but, funny. Um, they're funny. They're yeah, actually they funny. Bert. They got all kinds of weapons in their house. Isn't it Bert? Jeez. Bert. Her husband. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. It's a funny movie. It's worth watching. I'm not too sure about the ones after that. The second, third, I've fourth, never seen fifth, those, so. six. Where are we know. at? Six or eight? Like something. Eight or something. That's crazy. Something like that. So. But um, anyway, guys, those are pretty much it. Those are all our pickups. Um, oh, one more thing to mention about that movie. It is the Arrow. Yeah, box um, set. So it's going to be the box set. It's yeah. going to be unique. And one thing I didn't mention is when when we showed uh, the um, the Beastmaster, and that was uh, one yeah. of the nicest uh, box sets, I guess box sets, yeah. or box gift sets, whatever. You know, I do have some other ones. And, and I, I'd forgotten about. Do you want to listen to those? you want to listen to those real quick, the ones that I have? I did not. Don't I have like... Um, War World? Water World. American World War from London. What about, uh, real quick, what about the Fright Night that I have? It's got the VHS. It's a zombie one. That's not an arrow. It's a zombie. It's not an arrow. Um, but it's still, a, well, that wouldn't be considered a set. Yeah, right? It's Water nostalgic World. VHS or something. You want me to shut up? <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to shut up. Anyway, we have American <sighs> World from London, uh, Water World, um, Tremors. Now we have Tremors. Um, what's the other one you got? Is that the only one you got? Ah, it's yeah. Tremors, Kimberly. Tremors. I feel like oh, stop you! I think that's all of them we have. I think just four of them. So, um, yeah, but I have a I have a few other ones. I know that, but those aren't box sets. Pro probably have more than that. We're just yeah, not so many. Well, all you gotta do is go out there and look on on the uh, the cabinet. And oh, one more thing, you can mention this about 
in the next couple of weeks, probably after Christmas, we're going to go through some of all the Blu-rays. Yes. That I have because I've accumulated so many. So, um, I still need to do that. I need to do this collection video for you guys. So, um, maybe he'll pop in with me for a little while and just do it with me. So, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So, make sure to like the stream, comment down below. Let me know if you think of our pickups. Uh, just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Sign up. <laughs> why, why, why do you get like that? I was trying to say something nice to our viewers here. Um, but uh, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and a safe travels to everyone out there that is traveling over the holidays. Just be safe. It is hectic and crazy out there today, guys. Just, like I said, just safe travels. You know, you got anything to say? Right. No? Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I guess I will talk to you later. Bye.